record. She tried to get this into the NDAA. Representative Tulsi Gabbard stopped Trump from starting war with Iran. No more presidential. And she stuck it into the NDAA. Here it is. That's the NDAA right there. And here's the part. It's page 797. And it's uh, line 16 through 20. And here's what it says. Uh, Nothing in this act or amendment made by this act may be construed to authorize the use of military force against Iran. So that would have stopped Trump from doing that if that was included in the NDAA. Guess what? They took out Tulsi Gabbard's resolution in the NDAA to make sure Trump couldn't do that. But somehow Tulsi's the traitor and they're all the good people, even though they just enabled Trump to be able to do this. It goes further. Ro Khanna also had an amendment put into the NDAA. NDAA. He said there were two amendments stripped from the NDAA that could have prevented tonight's escalation. My amendment to prevent funding for war with Iran without congressional approval and and at believe for Congress's amendment to repeal the 2001 AUMF. He's leaving out Tulsi Gabbard's. Uh, uh, I don't know why, but he's doing so. And uh, also here is uh, Crystal Ball. Same things. Progressive Rokana fought for. The, so th- if, if they really gave a shit. The Democrats could have stopped Trump from doing this. They don't want to stop Trump from doing this. This is a uh, this is two. uh, We have foreign policy, two parties with one policy, and that's more war, more war. As and th- that, I mean, is this? Do you need any more proof than this, Max? That they did, they don't care that Trump did this. That they actually do support him, which is why he knew he could get away with this, which is why he did 